How you doing? Today uh, we're going to be talking about Ableton Live 6 and um, I'm going to be showing you some of the ways in which you can use it with a MIDI controller to um, do some fancy music stuff. So I uh, hope you enjoy. Let's get started. Probably the best all around feature of Ableton is the ability to assign MIDI control to about any MIDI controller. You can also use your keyboard to trigger MIDI, uh, arm tracks, play loops, uh, turn on or off effects, pretty much anything you can imagine. Any button there is on the software, you can assign it. Now I'm using a trigger finger by M Audio. I've got some a couple of things assigned here. Um, these will record for me. These will stop the tracks that I just recorded. This is the auto filter for the drums. Over here on my keyboard, just a you know plain keyboard. I'm using it for MIDI control. I've assigned some things. These arm, these play different drum loops. These change the instrument sounds. So I got those assigned because I know that I'm not going to be using them in the song I'm about to make, and um, it allows me to on the fly uh, change instruments record things and uh, jam out or write a song so uh, I'll give you a little demonstration here we go I'm gonna clear these tracks sorry about that okay just drums for starting out Another great feature is that even it, it'll start the loop on the downbeat. So I can push it now and it won't start triggering changing the loop until the right time. Alright, I just recorded a uh, bass line and uh, on the computer it's fully editable just like your regular MIDI. Um, so. record this Oh no. Here it is. Let's say I want to cut the bass line. Let's 
guys, that's about it for today. Um, video, very simple video. If you have any questions um, or requests, you can contact me through my uh, YouTube account. And thanks for watching.